Hey, folks, we're going to be looking at the world's greatest Bigfoot sighting, or the alleged one, as it was posted in 2019. This film actually came out at the end of 2013, October 28th, 2013, to be exact. That's a bunch of years ago, but it still seems to be making the rounds around the Internet. But as you can see, things are not always what they appear to be when it comes to video, even sometimes when you have somewhat of a backstory. Check it out. Okay, so problem number one with this film is you don't actually see him sneaking up to the Bigfoot. You see him take a couple of steps. Of course, the Bigfoot's completely oblivious. He's also oblivious to him going, Oh my God, what's this? Bleep, bleep, bleep. Uh, uh. Of course, you know, Bigfoot, the Bigfoot in the film doesn't even hear that. Problem number two. But let's go back to problem number one. Well, why, well, why don't we see this? I mean... You see something off in the distance, you're going to start recording right away and you're going to kind of wander in. Now, this doesn't start until center frame. Why is that? I'll tell you why. It's, it's going to be very clear. Then the, the other thing that really is wrong with this video is, you know, he's sitting there filming it for, you know, two, hour, uh, two minutes and, and some odd seconds. And all of a sudden, then he decides he's going to run away kind of sounds like the Bigfoot peeper story where the guy allegedly videotaped this thing for eight minutes and you know of course the film got destroyed in, in the fire but less some of these few pictures that he was posting around but you know he claimed to be videoing this thing for eight minutes and then all of a sudden he put his camera down and then he grabbed his gun well why there was no reason why psychologically it makes no sense well in this film you know all of a sudden he turns around and runs away for no reason well, why is that? Why does he run away for no reason? It didn't like it. Turn, it didn't like turn around on him. It actually stood up for a bit. But he, oh, sh 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 sh. you know, of course, you know, God forbid you. It turns around and looks at you. Then you could tell if this thing was real or not. Kind of hard to tell when it's off in the distance between some foliage and, and with its back to you. So that's a big, big issue I have. Of course, why did he run away? It's basically to end the film, I'm giving a nice little two-minute, little over two-minute little clip. And uh, we're going to get into a lot more reasons why this isn't real. So the question is, who is this Josh Highcliffe? Well, a simple Google research uh, will answer everything. But Highcliffe in itself does sound kind of like a phony name. Highcliffe? It's possible, but let's do the homework anyway. Well, what my Google search led was a Josh Highcliffe listed down on the ranks after all the Bigfoot sites. There was an internet movie database entry for him, but not as an actor, as a character. A character in a show called The Beasts of the Bayou, and it was produced in late 2013, aired in 2014. And uh, it was at the time when Discovery Channel was doing a lot of those fake inventories, the Megalodon capture of Bigfoot, the uh, mermaids program. And this show mimicked a lot like mountain monsters, except for it was these three guys from the bayou investigating these sightings in the swamps of Louisiana, not Mississippi. So anyhow, we look at the video and lo and behold, you know, here is Josh Highcliffe showing his video to the three main characters who are portraying themselves in the program. However, Josh Highcliffe is being, is being portrayed by an actor by the name of Richard Lewis Bosworth, right here. And his face is covered up because as the show wanted to say, Josh Highcliffe doesn't want to sh his face shown. As it turns out, uh, Bosworth is actually a legit actor. So there's big problems here, folks. This video is beginning to look like it was made for the Beast of the Bayou, part of a very fake TV series. Okay, to drive this home even more, his YouTube page was created October 28, 2013, the same day the video was dropped. 
His Facebook page was created October 28th, 2013, the same day the video was dropped. And guess what? He made a post on Cryptomundo's site as well, October 28th, 2013 as well. It seems like to me that this is probably a video campaign to make it go viral before the TV series. So, to me, this is all nothing but fakery. We have we have a YouTube channel created same day. We have a Facebook page created the same day. And the interesting thing is, nothing has been added to the YouTube page since. Not a thing, not a comment, nothing. As well as the Facebook page. Not a comment, not a nothing, nothing. Telling me, Josh Highcliffe does not exist. No, Josh Highcliffe, my friends is a character from the fake inventory show The Beast of the Bayou again held at the great time when Discovery was putting out all these fake TV documentaries so hey another one in the bin we'll catch you all next time thanks for watching and please remember to like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel we love you all catch you all in the bin Thank mm -hmm. you.